And now let's get back to our arts and culture segment. And of course, Im Yoon Hee joins us live in the studio. Well, good to see you after a long holiday. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, there were many events going on uh, because of the Children's Day and Buddha's birthday. And you need today you have an exhibition that is fitting for this occasion, right? Right. So I'm sure viewers noticed over the weekend many of the events that took place for the um, the two holidays. But you know, Buddha's birth, the day of Buddha's birth, is not just for people who participate in Buddhism. Um, there are quite many events that many people can take part in. And so one of these photo exhibitions is not just limited to those who follow Buddhism. I think everyone will enjoy it. Let's take a look. Buddhism is a commonly found religion in Asia. Many follow after the teachings of Buddhism in search for enlightenment and the sublime state of Nirvana. And all of these teachings are based on a man from 5th century BCE, who went by the name of Siddhartha Gautama, but he's known to many as Buddha. And every year, millions of people from all over the world celebrate his birth through various different events, including a photography exhibition. The Buddhism photography event is about taking pictures regarding Buddhism. We have an event every month, and this month's theme is the wind chime. They're often hung on the roofs of temples, so we visited various temples to take these pictures. Whether it be on the mysterious mountainsides or the glistening shores, the wind chime has long been seen as a means of achieving harmony within the mind and the soul. Soft resonating sounds from the chimes are believed to bring a sense of peace and well-being and were often hung around Buddhist temples for decades throughout the history of Asia. The wind chimes seen hanging around Korea often feature a fish, wiggling peacefully through the air. As the wind blows, if you extend the exposure, you can capture the movement. This piece is called Can You Hear the Wind Chime? The fish represents the pursuit of nirvana in Buddhism, because a fish never rests and is always moving around like the wind chime in the wind. Sometimes they lay silent, hanging from the roofs of snow-laden temples. But sometimes they send soft chimes through the air. Wherever they are, they symbolize the peace and well-being of the body, mind and soul. All right, it's not all, only about religion, mm -hmm. the Buddhism and Buddhist arts. Um, I think um, it's really something that many of us can really relate to and, mm -hmm. and really um, be offered calmness in. And uh, I hear you have some more exhibition of that sort. Right, so there are quite a few, quite a bit of artwork is actually inspired by Buddhism. And so the Tapgol Museum here located in Seoul, um, they are featuring some Buddhism inspired paintings and some of these date back all the way to the 1700s and they are just beautiful to look at. Right, and uh, there are also permanent ones as well. Right, so the Chuncheon National Museum um, located in the Gangwon-do province, they have a, a permanent exhibition featuring Buddhism, but they also have another exhibition right now called the Hand of Buddha, and that features the uh, verbal or the nonverbal silent hand gesture uh, called the mudras that's also often seen in Buddhism, and so you can see that there. At, you can see the story behind the hand gesture and the whole story behind that as well. So quite a few to check out. Right, a very inspiring work for us today. Thank you, Yunhee. My pleasure. Thank you.